Welcome again to the Medical Terminology Podcast. This episode is Chapter 11, Part 4, Eye Procedures. We don't have too many eye procedures here in this episode. The ones I'm going to cover are the ones that tend to be most difficult, primarily because of spelling. The rest of them in the chapter I don't think are that difficult, and you should be able to get them from their word parts. The first procedures we're going to cover are the diagnostic ones, and the first one I have for you is refraction, R-E-F-R-A-C-T-I-O-N. And refraction is a term we use to describe the examination that's used to determine an eye's refractive error so that the best corrective lenses can be prescribed. This is what the eye doctor does when they're having you look through the machine and the doctor's flipping through a bunch of lenses trying to find the best combination for you so that you can see the clearest. And something important to point out is that the term refraction also refers to the bending of light rays. And again, when there's a problem with the bending of light rays, we call that a refractive error. The next term is diopter. D-I-O-P-T-E-R, and a diopter is a measurement of a lens refractive power. The third term is difficult again because of the spelling. It's ophthalmoscopy. O-P-H-T-H-A-L-M-O-S-C-O-P-Y. Just like ophthalmologist, it has that silent H in it following the P, and it also has that L in it before the M that we tend not to say. Ophthalmoscopy, but we'll just say ophthalmoscopy, and you really can't hear that L in there. So ophthalmoscopy, visual examination of the back part of the eye. Again, be careful of the spelling. And the next term has ophthalmoscopy in it, so again, we need to be careful of the spelling. Whereas just plain ophthalmoscopy is the examination of the back part of the eye, there's also a procedure known as slit lamp ophthalmoscopy, which is S-L-I-T hyphen L-A-M-P, and then ophthalmoscopy, O-P-H-T-H-A-L-M-O-S-C-O-P-Y, and this is the procedure in which a narrow beam of light is focused onto the eye to examine structures in the front, such as the cornea, the lens, and the iris. So regular ophthalmoscopy is looking at the back part of the eye. Slit lamp ophthalmoscopy is looking at the front of the eye. The next term I have for you is tonometry, T-O-N-O-M-E-T-R-Y. And this is a procedure for measuring an eye's inner ocular pressure in order to screen for glaucoma. That tends to be tricky just because the term tonometry in of itself seems to have nothing to do with glaucoma, and sometimes people seem to just forget it. So tonometry, measuring an eye's inner ocular pressure. And the final procedure I have for you is Fluorescein staining, F-L-U-O-R-E-S-C-E-I-N, and then staining, S-T-A-I-N-I-N-G. Again, this one's pretty tricky to spell with that word fluorescein. It looks kind of like fluorescent, if you notice. F-L-U-O-R-E-S-C, that's the first part of fluorescent. But the ending is that E-I-N fluorescein, and that tends to be the tricky part, that E-I-N in the ending. Well, what is fluorescein staining? It looks like fluorescent, and in fact it does have something to do with that. Fluorescein staining is when the eye doctor will apply a fluorescent dye to the eye in order to detect corneal abrasions. Usually the doctor will put the drops in the eye and then uh, have you look through a little machine. He'll shine a light on it and it will make the dye glow so if there are any scratches on the cornea they'll show up. That's it for the diagnostic procedures, now we have the treatment procedures. 
and again, these ones I'm going to present to you are mainly tricky because of spelling. The first one is Tarsorafi, T-A-R-S-O-R-R-H-A-P-H-Y. Again, it's got the word part tarso, which refers to eyelids, and rafi, which we've known since chapter 1, which refers to suturing. And this is the suturing together of the upper and lower eyelids. The next term is pseudophakia, P-S-E-U-D-O-P-H-A-K-I-A. -A. And this is tricky to spell for a couple reasons. First of all, pseudo is a tricky word to spell. That P is silent, P-S-E-U-D-O, pseudo. And then we add on the word parts, phakia, P-H-A-K-I-A. I personally tend to really want to put an A in there, pseudo aphakia, because we have a term aphakia, which means without a lens. But we don't want to put the A in there, even though it's tempting, at least to me. We just have pseudo phakia. The word part pseudo means fake or false. Phaco, the word part, means pertaining to the lens, and then IA means condition. So this is a lens condition of having a false lens, pseudo phakia. This is a condition in which an eye's lens has been replaced by an artificial lens as a treatment for cataracts, pseudo phakia. And again, I referred to the term that is similar and can be confusing, and that's aphakia, A-P-H-A-K-I-A. If you remember, the prefix A means without, so aphakia means without a lens. Aphakia without a lens, pseudophakia, fake lens. The next term is photocoagulation, P-H-O-T-O-C-O-A-G-U-L-A-T-I-O-N. Photo refers to light. And coagulation would mean something is clotting. In this case, photocoagulation is a treatment for wet macular degeneration that uses lasers to seal the leaking blood vessels. If you remember, wet macular degeneration is caused by a leaking of blood vessels that causes damage to the macula. The next term is retinopexy, R E T I N O. P E X Y. And if you remember, retino refers to retina, that's pretty straightforward. And pexy, the suffix, means surgical fixation. So retinopexy is the surgical reattachment of a detached retina. And finally, we have laser trabeculoplasty. L A S E R. Trabeculoplasty, T R A B E C U L O P L A S T Y. Trabeculo refers to the trabecular meshwork in the eye, and plasty means surgical repair. Although technically this procedure doesn't really involve a repair, so we have to be a little careful of this one. This is a procedure to treat open angle glaucoma by creating openings in the trabecular meshwork to allow fluid to drain properly. The fluid drains, the pressure in the eye will decrease, and then the glaucoma will be treated. And so the trick here is if we're creating openings, that really sounds like what? what remember the suffix for creating an opening? Well, I hope you remember that's ostomy. But we're not doing an ostomy here, we're doing a plasty, so we have to be careful. Even though we're creating openings so we can do a drainage here of fluid, it's not an ostomy, it's not an otomy, it's not a centesis, it's a plasty. Laser trabeculoplasty, the procedure to treat glaucoma by creating openings in the trabecular meshwork. Okay, well let's go ahead then and review these terms. What unit is used to measure a lens refractive power? Well, that's a diopter, D-I-O-P-T-E-R. What is the term for the examination of the back of the eye?
That's ophthalmoscopy. O P H T H A L M O S C O P Y. What is the term for the procedure that uses light to treat wet macular degeneration? That's photocoagulation. P H O T O C O A G U L A T I O N. And what is the term for the surgical reattachment of a detached retina? That's retinopexy. R E T I N. O P E X Y. And what is the term for the procedure used to diagnose corneal abrasions? That's fluorescein staining. F L U O R E S C E I N, and then staining. S T A I N I N G. And the procedure used to determine the best corrective lenses for someone with amatropia is what? Okay, I'm making you think a little bit here. I threw another term at you, I threw the pathology amatropia at you and I hope you remember that amatropia means someone has a refractive error. So someone with an amatropia is going to have difficulty seeing and need corrective lenses. And the term for the procedure to find the corrective lenses is refraction. R-E-F-R-A-C-T-I-O-N. Suturing together the eyelids is known as what? That's tarsography, T-A-R-S-O-R-R-H-A-P-H-Y. The procedure used to test for glaucoma is what? That's tonometry, T O N. O M E T R Y. The procedure used to treat open angle glaucoma by creating holes in the trabecular meshwork that allow fluid to drain properly is known as A N what? That's a laser trabeculoplasty. L A S E R T R A B E C U L O P L A S T Y. And again, even though we're creating holes, the suffix here is plasty. The condition in which an eye's lens has been replaced by an artificial one is known as what? That's pseudophakia, P-S-E-U-D-O-P-H-A-K-I-A. And again, pseudo means false or fake, it's artificial, and fakia is a condition of a lens. And what is the term in which one is missing a lens because it's been removed? That's aphakia, A P H A K. I A. Okay, and finally, what is the procedure that's used to examine structures in the front of the eye? Slit lamp ophthalmoscopy, which is S L I T hyphen L A M P, and then ophthalmoscopy O P H T H A L. M-O-S-C-O-P-Y. 
Well, that does it for the procedures for the eye. At this point, we're now ready to go on to the second part of chapter 11, and that's covering the ear. This ends this episode of the Medical Terminology Podcast.